Shalom. And start off by giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Makakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Church of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the sincere and hopeful elect, you brothers out there that's prophesying in the true name and the true doctrine, the house of David. All right, about the times we're in ahead of two for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This Kwadash Paya, and as you can see, I had some articles here, you know, had a couple headlines. Right, where it states, you know, Washington Post hackers take more than 600 million in cryptocurrency. Hackers steal more than 600 million dollars uh, uh, um, from maker of Anxi Infinity. You know, hackers, st hackers stole over 500 million in cryptocurrency and record making haste. Um, you know, and it goes on, man. And stealing, uh, uh, hacking digital wallets, right? And as you can see, you know, the key word hackers, hacking, cyber attacks this, cyber attacks that, pointing the fingers at them, right? Whoever, whoever they're pointing the fingers at, which we know, you know, it's all this is an inside job, problem, reaction, solution, but it, it, it programs the people. Right, because remember during the plan to the demic with the whole uh you know showing proof with these uh uh cards the C to the the one nine cards you know showing proof they were saying that people were stealing them you know what I'm saying uh 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 uh, uh you know copying them Printing out, you know, just making new ones with the stamps. You know, people were stealing, you know, with paper. It's, it's, it's tangible. It's easily to be forged. Right? And now, you, we're resulting to what? Digital currencies and, you know, um, as a way of, as a way of convenience, you know, as far as, we lead, as far as like hyperinflation, we lead into, you know, the, 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 the fiat currency devaluing, the dollar devaluing as prices rise up, you know, and it's not, the, the, the hours people put in for labor is not going to add up to the cost of living and the cost of just doing, just, you know, make, not even making ends meet. And people are getting hacked to where, like, Carl Schwab, the, the I believe he's the CEO, if I'm not mistaken, for a, uh, the, the, um, economic forum, speaking about leading to a fourth industrial revolution where people merge with machines. And that's leading to what? Revelation the thirteenth chapter, he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a karagma in the Hebrew tongue meaning an incision of what? An incision of what? A digital device which no man shall sell. If you don't have that, you are not gonna sell buy or sell so you know, Revelation three and ten. You know, the hour of temptation that will come upon all the world. Right? So they, that problem happens, then they come, oh, the solution, this can help with this, you know, so that's why you gotta understand who the enemy is to understand his snares, his traps, right, so let's get this real quick, in the book of Daniel, chapter 8, verse 25, it says, and though his policy, and through, throughout his policy, also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, in his mind. And by peace shall destroy many, and he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. Right? Because, you know, Yahweh Shai is not going to meet the other man. He's coming back to do, destroy you know the, the 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 beast system and the and and the whore, which is Babylon the Great, right? 
aka the U.S. of A., right? It says throughout his policy, his laws, his policies, his restriction shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. They're causing craft through, through way of their technology, wanting to be like God, you know, omnipresent. You see, being everywhere at once, full control, man. That's why they're bringing in this whole new world order, right? One world currency, one world religion, one world army, whatever. It says to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, in his mind. And that's prideful. We know that pride coming before destruction. You know, and by peace shall destroy many. And look, we're hearing about wars and rumors of wars, you know, diseases. And they coming in through, you know, speaking in a way, in the name of convenience. Oh, we got a solution for the fucking problem they created. Which all in all, the Lord is controlling them. Tells you in Proverbs 21, the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. You know, it's all orchestrated by the Most High anyway, right? But, you know, that's false peace. It's like it tells you in Thessalonians, I believe, First Thessalonians 5 and 3, or 3 and 5, roughly paraphrasing where it states, you know, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden, then sudden destruction shall come upon them. And look, all these wars, they're trying to bring peace, new world order, but they're not going to establish that pursuing the Job, the 20th chapter, around about the 23rd verse. You know, while they're eating, you know what I'm saying? While they're about to fulfill their bellies, you know, while they thinking things are going to prosper in their hands, right? Oh, things are flourishing, it's going their way. That's when sudden destruction is going to come. You know, and the Lord's going to intervene. So this is the book of Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as I am rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. So we got to beware of what these men, what these politicians, what they're saying. You know, through way of Watching current events, filtering it, filtering it through the prophecies, scriptures, you know. That w that way, what you may withstand through faith the fiery darts of Satan. What they trying to throw at people, man? Is the majority of people walking on in darkness? They don't got the light, meaning so they don't got no guidance. You know, they're gonna be unstable when all hell breaks loose. Scriptures say, "Wisdom and knowledge shall be what the stability of thy time." <laughs> So, so we got to beware of him. Though they go humble, trying to be humble, trying to speak smooth things. Oh, no, it's okay. We're going to come this way. We're going to help you. We're going to give you funds. We No, 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 no. They have ulterior motives. I don't understand that, man. Right? So it says, for thou has, um, it says, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou has wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrow, overthrown thee, he stand up in his place, in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the, at the last remember my words, and be pricked therewith. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come thy wild beast, right? So we know that Esau, these elites, Rothschilds, these politicians, the Zionists, Rockefellers, so-called white people that's ruling, you know, they, they're a bunch of snakes, man. They speak with a double tongue, you know, and, 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 and most of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are the biblical Israelites, they follow upon that. Scriptures say the simple believe of every word. You know? The blind leadeth the blind. So, if they both fall into a ditch, you, we're not going to pity them because we're warning them. Yo, that nigga's a snake. Don't even, don't go to him. So when they bite you, and now you filled with that with their poison, there's no sympathy because we warned you. You know what I'm saying? Who will pity a charmer like a man that plays with snakes? Are you going to feel bad for him when he's bitten? Hell no. You know? So one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? Right? 
for for a while, he will abide with thee. But if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry, right? So that's so why I tell Isaiah 31 and 1 says what? Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. You know? Because what? The, 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 the strength... The arm of Pharaoh, or the strength of Pharaoh, rather, roughly paraphrasing, shall be their shame. So they're going to fall with the enemy. You see? They're going to fall with the one that they, 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 they trust, that's giving them false hopes. You know? Because our refuge is in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shadma. Verse 16, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, meaning in his mind, he imagineth how... To, to throw thee into a pit, which is a trap. These are the things they meditate on, you know. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood, right? You know, they're going to weep with their eyes, trying to pretend, giving that soft countenance. We're going to help you with aid, and we're going to help you with this. But in reality, they ten steps ahead of you on... How they imagine how to overthrow you and your families, you know, problem reaction solution, order out of chaos, you know, divide and conquer. So it says, if adversary come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first, and though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his consonants. And this is why, man, we must be circumspect, remain diligent, for the devil, the adversary, seeketh, as a wrong lying, who he may devour, roughly paraphrasing. It's a spiritual warfare, man. You know, we gotta be wise. A serpent's harmless as doves. Seeing the bigger picture and where all this is leading to. Anyway, with that, like it tells you in, 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 a uh, um... In St. Luke, as a snare shall it come upon all the world. You know, as a trap shall it come upon all the world. And all this is prophecy. It's happening quicker and on a global scale. So we're at the end, man. The major two great prophecies is coming to pass before the second return of the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, to restore the kingdom of heaven. With that, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, watch and pray. Till next time, Shalom.